Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on constructing distance time graphs. Let's read the question. Soren cycles 50 kilometers to his friend's house in 20 minutes. He stays at his friend's house for 15 minutes before cycling home in 25 minutes. I'm very impressed at anyone who couldn't cycle 50 kilometers in 20 minutes. Show Soren's journey on the graph. Now this is sometimes otherwise known as a travel graph. Now we've got two axes here. On the x-axis or the horizontal axis, we've got the time since he started moving. And then on the y-axis, the vertical axis, we've got the distance he is from home. So he's gonna start at home, so he's gonna start a distance of zero at time zero. So he, this is where he's starting. So let's use the information given. He cycles 50 kilometers in 20 minutes. So after 20 minutes, there's 20 minutes, he's gone 50 kilometers. You can see the 50 there. So 20 minutes, 50 kilometers there. And then we can just connect this up with a straight line. The reason is, is because we're assuming that he's cycling at a constant rate, a constant speed. And that means he's going the same distance for each minute that passes. So that should be a straight line. Now it says he stays at his friend's house for 15 minutes. So 20 minutes have passed since he left his house, but he's then staying 15 minutes at his friend's house. So that takes us up to 35 minutes because 20 plus 15 is 35. So we're now at the 35 minute mark. That's halfway between 30 and 40. If we go to the 35 minute mark, it's here, but he's still at his friend's house. So he's still 50 kilometers from home. So he's not moving back home. He's not going any further from home. He's staying at the same distance. So we remain horizontal here on our graph. And then it says he cycles home in 25 minutes. So after 25 minutes, he'll be at home. That is his distance will be zero from home. So we're at the 35 minute mark. He cycles for 25 minutes, 35 plus 25, is 60 minutes. So he's going to be at home at 60 minutes. So at 60 minutes, he will be a distance of zero from home. So look, his distance on the vertical axis is zero. And then once more, we just join this up with a straight line. And that is the completed graph.